right, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today is Sewing Talk Tuesday, and Sewing Talk Tuesday is when we get together once a week on Tuesdays, and we talk about all things sewing or any kind of craft projects that we're working on, quilting projects and whatnot. So, this week, we are going to focus on some really cool and exciting things. Yay! I am really excited because um, there are some very big things happening here. So one of them I cannot talk about yet. Another one of them I cannot talk about yet. Um, but one I can talk about. So I am really excited because we are working on the t-shirt quilt. And we are finally to the point where we're going to be able to start adding the borders for that. Um, so I'll be showing you how to add borders to a t-shirt quilt using quilt as you go. If you're following along, you're going to want to be able to get all of your rows put together. Um, so this week, Friday, we will not be doing a tutorial on the t-shirt quilt, uh, because I have something else that's going to be coming up. So, and I need to have the time to be able to get done what I'm going to get done and then next week, we will start working on the t-shirt quilt again and adding the borders. So it gives you an extra week to get your, your rows put together. And if you're anything like me, then I know you're going to need that time. So make sure you get that done. And if you're already ahead of schedule, then make sure that you cut or not cut, but pick out what you're going to do for your borders. If you're using a different fabric or if you're going to use the same fabric, you can do that. And you can also decide how big you want to make your borders. So just be thinking about how you want to move forward with your t-shirt quilt that way. So what is exciting is that um, I have gone ahead and I took the leap. I mentioned last week that I was thinking about switching over to Shopify versus Etsy. And so I have, and I have a new store that I'm going to have on Shopify. And I'm excited because I am going to be able to offer you more things than I could have selling on Etsy. So I will still be selling my rye quilts there, and I'll still be selling the hand sanitizer holders and that sort of thing and baby quilts and whatnot. So basically all the same things will still be included in this store, but I'm going to be offering gift cards. So if that's something that you would like for Christmas or whatnot, um, or your birthday, you'll be able to have your loved ones get you a gift card to my shop and you can shop on there for whatever you want. It just opens up more possibilities and um, opportunities for me to serve you better. So with that said, um, I'm also going to be offering um, customized services. So I will be offering customizable rag quilts. So if you make a purchase through me for a rag quilt and you want um, a name embroidered on a rag quilt or a birth announcement on the rag quilt, I can certainly do that. Um, I am also going to be putting together um, a way for you to order the squares that are already pre-cut for rag quilt kits, or you can order them pre-fringed if you wanna do that and go that route. So I'm just gonna be able to offer you a whole bunch more options um, as opposed to what I've been able to offer to you up until this point. So it really is to help you. And, all of my craft stash that you see here, <laughs> all the stuff on bolts and stuff and over there um, that you don't normally see is gonna be in the shop. So I'm gonna be selling my fabric by the yard and you will be able to purchase fabric by the yard. And I can also sell you the fabric by the yard and you can pick which ones you wanna do if you wanna make a rag quilt or if you just wanna make a quilt. Um, however you want to do it, you can do it. And that's what I love about this. So it just is making it so much better for me to, um, bring this to you. And I'm really, really excited. And I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. I just haven't been able to really tell you much about it because 
um, it's a lot of work. It's really, really a lot of work to transition over. So just be patient with me. We're getting there. Um, the name of the shop, I kept it pretty simple, <laughs> is craftyauthorshop.com. So I think that'll be pretty easy for everybody to find. Um, I'm not going to link it just yet because the site is not live yet. Um, so there's that. I want to talk about some other things too. So that's the big announcement that I have for right now. There's more coming, but for right now and today, that is the announcement. All right. So I did go to Joann's again yesterday because they had a big sale. And I was able to pick up this really cute Lorax fabric. And I'm going to be using this for those hand sanitizer holders that I like to make. Um, I'm making these because it is back to school time. And kids need their hand sanitizer holders and things. And if you didn't get in on it when they first all went back to school, now you can get them. <laughs> because I'm making them. <laughs> So I got this really cute frog fabric. I thought that these frogs were so vibrant and so adorable. This is flannel. I thought, wow, what a cute quilt this would make for a little boy or even a little girl who's into frogs. But the vibrant colors are just so cool. And so I will be, I will be offering that. Um, I picked up this beautiful fabric. I thought this was nice for a backing. So, yeah, so pretty. And then, don't laugh at me, but um, this one, oh my goodness. So, my husband actually saw this and picked it out because he thought it was super cool. And, well, I have to agree, I think it is too. And we were looking at it and I thought, you know, this would be really cute for my grandsons for a <laughs> quilt for them for Christmas. <laughs> so I have a feeling that this is probably gonna, gonna be used for um, grandkid Christmas gifts. It wasn't originally intended for that, but that's kind of where it's heading, I think. And um, then I was able to purchase this bolt of fluorescent orange which goes perfectly with these cool trucks as you can see and then also it goes really well with the frogs so yeah I'll be uh, listing some of that this I'm going to be making actual blanket with. I'm going to pull out my serger and my cover stitch machine and I'm going to start making some blankets out of this and I think I'm going to back this with yellow minky just because it's going to be so stinking cute. And then I purchased more of the um, cork fabric. This stuff is really, really expensive. And Joann's had this on sale yesterday for $14.99 a yard. And it is normally $30 a yard. So I was able to pick that up. I got two yards of it. And at the time, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I probably should have picked up even more. But I did not do that. So um, I have not forgotten. I have all of the projects ready to go. I know I put up a poll about um, the gnomes and I put up a, a gnomes and the bunny rabbit, which ones you wanted to see. You both, you commented that you would like to see both of those projects done. So I am working on those. Those will be coming up in the future. So just keep your eyes and ears open. Um, the notebooks. I had asked if you wanted to see how I made the quilt books. Um, the quilt journals, that's what I'm trying to say, not quilt books, quilt journals, these. And so I am going to do a tutorial on how to do this. And I will show you everything that I did to make these. They're really, really cute and they're really easy to do. Um, you don't need, now I have a fancy binding machine that does this. Um, it is the Heidi Swap Cinch Machine. And I purchased it 
long, long time ago. I purchased it when I was still doing um, scrapbooking and when I was making a lot of notebooks for swags. For swag, when I would go to um, book signings and stuff, I would do um, little notebooks and stuff like that. So I still had it laying around and I thought, well, I might as well just, I might as well choose, you know, to use what I have. So if you don't have one of these, do not worry about it. You don't need it. What you will need is a hole punch though. You will need a hole punch of some sort. Um, if you have a binding machine like that, that's awesome. And if you want to get one, that's really cool too. I actually have one. I have linked to the cinch, um, in my Amazon store. So that link is down below in the description box. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the supplies for this, um, you will want to go and check that out in my store. And it is actually um, under quilt journals. So I'll just link the whole thing down below so you can just click on that and it'll take you to the store inside of there and you can get what you need. But that is what I use for this just so you know, so that you can, if you're going to do this with me, you can plan ahead of time. Um, I use Cricut vinyl. So you can just grab a roll of that. This has numerous, uh, this has three 12 by 24 sheets. You just need one of these, just vinyl. Okay. And then I have this, which is the sheets that I, um, created for the quilt journal itself. I did this in Canva. You can use the free version of Canva and do it. And so, and then I just cut it with my paper cutter. So you'll need something to cut as well. But really it's a very simple project. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy, and it's a lot of fun to do. And um, so yeah, so I'm excited to start showing you how to do this. Um, I'm not sure when I'll do it, but I am going to get to it. And so my main focus right now is just getting everything up and into the store because we really need that um, so that we can get going there. I will let you know when the store is open. And if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. Don't forget to check the link down below for your quilt journal um, supply list. Bye-bye.